Let's begin. We're going to start with just a little drum beat. Um, I tend to use my middle and my ring finger for this. I don't know why, but I just do. We're just going to go right over the, the thymus. So right in the middle of the sternum. I'm just going to get a little blub blub. Brub, 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 brub. <laughs> and as you're feeling that light little finger pad percussion on the sternum, connect to breath. So the breath is suffused with that percussion, that, that rhythm. Yeah, when it comes to glands, a little, a little, a little will do it. And then we'll relax the hand down. And just continuing to breathe in and through that place that you percussed. It might just be a little extra sensory sense of the heart in the breath, the breath in the heart. This is full contact yoga. <laughs> the heart gets to touch the breath, the breath gets to touch the heart. Let's keep going in. We'll go all the way in, into the back. <laughs> so inhale, reach the arms out to the side. And as you're reaching, feel for the shoulders, the width of the shoulders, the width of the heart, expanding. And then we'll move the arms into eagle, exhaling the left elbow over the right, linking the hands is there only if there's no, no shoulder injuries. Exhaling again, uh, lower, bring the shoulders just somewhat away from the back of the brain. Sending the elbows forward and lifting them up just a tiny bit, like an inch. In this way, we can nest the forehead in the forearms. This pitches the head downward a bit. And so now let's breathe into the back of the heart and the back of the neck. The back of the skull. And feel that even if it's just one breath moment, you can release the brain, the head into the arms. And so one of the things I'm wanting to share over the uh, kind of these larger arches of weeks and months, and we'll inhale, we'll unwind the, the arms, reaching them out to the side to switch sides. You know, we should switch the legs too. Let's do that. And we'll exhale, switching the legs. 
is that getting to find more ease in the body. And this time we'll exhale the right elbow over the left, arms and eagle. As a function of a release process, which to me is a being process. Now finding more ease in the body isn't about finding the right technique that gives me ease, a doing process, but it's a gesture of release and releasing tension, which is ultimately a being process. But yes, I am kind of sending the arms forward, but within that, that tiny little technique, the being process, the, that gesture of release, kind of a non-doing process, where is that? Where is that in the body? And if I lift the elbows up, we'll have two or three breaths to practice that specifically under the brain. And so just breath by breath, it's an inquiry. Can I release in this one place under the brain? We don't have to do a whole life release. We don't have to do a whole karmic release. We don't have to do a whole body release. Just one little area in the back of the neck. One little area at a time. Inhaling, unwind the arms, the legs. And hey, we'll leave the door open. If you need or want or find yourself doing a whole life release, maybe that happens. <laughs> Let's set the right leg out. And we'll bend the left knee. So we can set the knees out pretty widely without incurring too much of a stretch sensation. We'll take two positions. One is folding between the thighs, which will kind of angle me one way, and then side bend, which will angle me in another way over the leg. But first, before we fold, Feel both sit bones on the, on the ground. And just get a sense of where that perineal body is or the tip of the tailbone or the perineum. And then allowing breath to soften and enter and descend into the abdomen. Now we'll fold. We're just stopping, pausing. You know, we're not, we don't have to um, commit to a technique of stretching or we're just pausing at a, just a very kind threshold. And then two areas, releasing the belly and releasing underneath the brain. As we release the belly, you may discover that some of the tension around the back or the hip bones in the back actually just starts to dissolve quite, quite rapidly. We find more and more that the way that we hold our organs can be giving us a lot of extra sensations in the back. And now inhaling, walking the hands nearer to the right thigh, and draw the left arm up. And exhaling, side bend, reaching the left arm 
basically over the right leg. And so now I'm kind of spiraling the chest, turning. Can engage that right leg, giving the, really giving the organs a lot of support. So I'm not just hanging off of my, my ribs and my organs. I can use that leg. I can kind of send that calf into the earth. I can reach out through that left thigh bone. There's a lot of support for the spine and the, and the guts in those legs. Inhale, we'll bring the left hand down, we'll walk our way up. We switch sides. So we've got the left leg out, the right leg folded in, and this lets me set the knees widely apart. I'm going to do that in a it's a sequential way just to, one, slow our rhythm down, and two, just to let us settle in and inside our, our bodily experience. We're gonna get a sense of the sit bones, the tailbone, and you can just go with those points, the tip of the tailbone, the, and you can refine it and feel where that perineum is, a perineal body. And softening the abdomen. And we'll fold. So I'm just setting the hands out wherever that fold just initially slows or pauses. I'll just maintain right there and releasing these two areas, the abdomen, just letting gravity uh, have some of those, some of the weight of my organs and the back of the neck. So one of the values of these practices, these meditation practices, these yoga practices, is that it's a form of state training. We're discovering and feeling how and when, even why our, our state changes. What is a state when I relax my neck? How does that feel in my mind, body. Drunk states, awake states, sleepy states, hazy states, lucid states, ecstatic states. You know, these things that come and go. Here's the side bend. Inhaling, we'll walk the hands nearer to the left leg, raising the right arm, exhaling. Reach, vibrant legs, supporting the torso, supporting those organs. And the right arm reaching overhead. And inhale, we'll bring the right hand down, walk the torso up. And when we lie on back, guts. So let's lie on back. If you have a, um, a roll or a block prop to put near you, um, that'll work great. If you don't, they're not enough. 
We'll figure it out. <laughs> so we're doing a little variation on elbow to knee today. And when we extend the, the one leg out, we'll be using our hand to grab our other foot, and there'll be a little bit of a plant or a placement of foot into inner thigh. So as we're lying, it will appear that we're making a figure four or a, a tree pose. We'll talk about that. Inhale the head and the upper back off the ground. Now as I'm breathing into the back, I'm also using a little abdominal pressure, feeling the back stay on the ground. Exhale, left leg out reaches. Right hand, scoop up that right ankle, help it to the inner left thigh. We're gonna take an extra breath right here for this initial setup move. So inhale again into the low belly and the low back. And now exhale, press this right foot into the inner left thigh, the left thigh into the foot. So you get a lot more registering in the legs. Splay the left foot bones and sink the belly in and down. All right, we're gonna release that inhale. Let the knees go back over the hips. And shifting the tailbone or abdominal pressure keeps the back in place. Exhale, send the right leg out. I'll, I'll talk through this first round in a couple of breaths. Left hand, grab the left ankle, plant it in your inner right thigh. Let's take another inhale here, inhaling. And now this entire exhale, pressing right leg into foot, foot into leg, and now outreach through that right leg. Sinking the low belly down. Kind of a, a bit of a draining. Inhale, let up, knees over hips. And now we're gonna kind of fly one breath per side. Curl tailbone, exhale, left leg out. Right foot plants that inner left thigh, pressing, outreaching, sink the belly in and down. Inhale, letting up. The upper back remains up, so there's a good, good amount of abdominal. Curling tailbone. Exhale, the right leg out reaches, the left foot plants in that inner right thigh. Both press inwardly and right leg reach outwardly. And I'm staying pretty steady on the pelvis. If you're getting a lot of rock and roll, just kind of steady in and then sink the belly in. Inhale, let that up. How about we do two more each side? Let's do that. You can do that at your own pace while we do it together. So one of the things that we're getting with this is the foot pressing the thigh is already starting to help us feel and find that inner leg line. Crucial find for hips, back, life. <laughs> Prehabbing or rehabbing <laughs> uh, strains to the groin muscles. So it's nice to find those inner leg muscles. There you go. And we're committing to that tweeze. There's a little intensification of, of effort but lead that effort to open and to work with that gesture of release through the hip. So the effort can be guided to that process of release or opening. There you go. And when you're done, you're done. Cool. All right, now let's get both those inner legs working simultaneously. 
So you've got that prop nearby, which is either a block or a rolled up blanket. with that object between the inner thighs and I and I put that prop nearer to the hips and the knees. You can do this a couple of ways. There's two versions. First version, inhale into the low back. The feeling breath in the low ribs, the low back. And hold the breath for just a moment. Tweeze those inner legs into the block. Splay the foot bones. Exhale, lift the head, the shoulder blades off the ground. And let it focus momentarily right down into the guts. As the legs lift away from the guts, sink the guts, the belly, the low belly in and down. And we're just feeling, sensing. Inhale, we'll set the head down, letting up those leg pressures. It's just momentary, and then we re-squeeze. Good, stay with the squeeze. Curling tailbone, exhale, float the head and the shoulder blades off the ground. Consider, it's not just an intensification of effort, sink the belly in, it's actually intensified listening. I'm teaching myself to listen more deeply than the noise. Inhale, set the head down. This allows me to contact, to touch much more fully. Squeeze the object. So now use effort, squeeze. Exhale, float the head and the shoulder blades up to help intensify listening. I feel you. Ooh, that quivery, ooh, that heat. Oh, that interest, I see you, I feel you. Sink the belly in and down. Good, inhale, set the head down. Take a free exhale. Here's the version two, the part two. This time, inhale the head and the upper back up, off the ground. Inhale, lifting up. Squeezing the object, and now exhale, just a little quarter turn, elbows reach toward the left thigh. There's just a tiny turn in the torso. Re-engage, squeeze again, legs into object, curling tailbone a second time, sink the belly in and down. Inhale, come back centrally, upper back is up, meaning off the ground. Hold, hold the breath just for a moment. Squeeze the object. Stretching those legs toward the sky. Exhaling, curling the tailbone. Elbows reach just a little eighth turn, quarter turn toward that right thigh. Increase the squeeze of the legs. Reach them higher. Like release, grow them longer. Draw the low belly down. Sink, sink it in down. Inhale, come back to center, letting up some of those leg pressures. Those legs need to breathe too. Hold breath, squeeze object. Hope it's getting wonderful for you too. Curling tailbone, exhale, elbows toward that left thigh. Increase the squeeze. Squeeze again, curl tailbone a second time. Sink the belly in and down. Inhale, come back centrally. Last one, last side. Hold breath, squeeze object. Exhale, reach elbows toward the right side. Just a tiny little turn of the torso. Increase the squeeze of the legs, even if it's hot. Curl tailbone a second time, stretching those legs toward the sky. Sink the belly in and down. Inhale, back to center, set the head down, exhale, set the feet down. Okay, take that object away. And if it's helpful, you can place the soles of feet together, let the, let the knees open apart for a moment. And if you're lying like so, 
feel breath descend or heck even originate feel breath in the hips the groin the in the perineum All right. We'll turn over onto a side. Joop. We're going to stand before we do dolphin. So we'll stand. We're going to revisit old tree pose. So we're standing left foot. I can take my right foot either to the calf or the high inner groin. And rather than letting this leg, this bent leg, just kind of push me off to the side, and involve that inner left leg, that straightened leg, pressing it back into the foot. So option one is I can hold that foot there. I can raise left arm. Okay. I can have hands in prayer position or reach both arms. Now for those of you reaching one or two arms up, Stepping in to see some of those organs breathing. Here we go. <laughs> so one of the hopes is the legs feel less and less disjointed from the guts. They're a great support system. <laughs> and the arms feel more and more connected with the torso also. You know, the wind blows through the trees. All right, we'll release, we'll set it down, we'll switch sides. So, rat foot. Now I plant that left foot. Inner right leg, just like a moment ago when we're lying, kind of presses in. Length and root of the inner leg lengthening into the ground. We can reach up with a uh, right arm or both arm. Get a sense of breathing in and through that back. And we release. Grab your object one more time. Whether it's roll or block, whatever you've got. Do a little standing traction or a standing back bend. So I'm going inner legs, we've got that roll again. And I'm going thumb, forefinger on the hip bones, or on the waist, just above the hip bones. And feet are near, basically pointing same direction forward. And with a little bit of that inner leg involvement, I can feel the tip of the tailbone. It's very subtle, just shifting downward. We don't need or we don't need to try to clamp the butt muscles here. And then hand is pressing downward, groundward. Inhale. 
both legs acting in into that object. We're just going to start to perceive what kind of space starts to emerge in the back and the spine joints. Inhaling the mid spine away from the low spine. So you can press pretty robustly here. And yes, you can even tweeze the elbows toward each other. There'll be a little back muscle engagement. Give it one or two more breaths, bringing or feeling the upper back, lifting, spreading away from the mid spine. Just getting a chance to feel all these little sections of the spine, the lower, the mid, the upper, just starting to breathe and move, to individuate. And release. Done with that. Now let's set up some dolphin air. We'll find out if we can replicate some of that traction, that state of spaciousness. And some of these things we just get little glimpses of. And that's kind of the beautiful thing about state. It can just be a little glimpse of something. And then maybe we glimpse it again and again. And then gradually states become traits. On exhale, your exhale, Releasing the head down, the neck down, we'll press the knees off the ground. So in one sense, to kind of frame it, you know, I enter into this, this momentary state or I glimpse Ah, oh, this release, this relax, this fluid, spacious neck. And maybe I forget it in a millisecond. Maybe something grabs and I wrinkle back up into some very familiar pattern. But as I keep glimpsing that, that feeling moment of, oh, a spacious, broad, space around the heart. Yeah, many glimpses starts to make that older engram or that really familiar old pattern a, a, um, a thing of the past. Inhale, bring the right foot off the ground. Open up the sole of the foot. And just get a glimpse of feeling all the way to the periphery of my body. As I'm reaching out through that right leg, feel the release of the right hip. And it may take a little focus. It may take a little bearing down. Feel, well, where's my right hip here? So inhale into that right side low back. Right side pelvis. And then exhale strong and long. We did a bunch for those inner legs, so I know they're kind of revved. <laughs> so use all, all that wonderful leg line that you primed, reach. Send that foot, send that leg away from the brain. Good. 
and inhale, bring the right foot down. Exhaling, settling, settling into the heels, lifting out of the shoulders, pressing out of the shoulders. And here goes the left leg. Inhaling, the left leg raises. And push, push forearms, and you can unflare those front ribs. So a couple little things that help me unflare the, the, the front ribs is sinking that right heel down and pushing through the forearms. There you go, that's it, that's it. And having unflared those ribs now, maybe you have different breath access into the back of the diaphragm, the back, the colon, kidney, altitude area. There you go, keep working with the leg. The leg can reach from those, that back of diaphragm, mm-hmm. Give, give it another. Pressing through the arms, reaching through the leg, sinking to the right heel. And we'll set that left foot down. We'll set the knees down. Inhale, hands under shoulders. Exhaling, downward dock. Inhale the right foot forward, warrior two. And just unlocking the uh, the shoulder. Let's go with the uh, let's go with the right the right arm. So I'm setting the elbow directly in front of the shoulder. So my arm's making a right angle, but the elbow is directly in front of my shoulder. Yes. So we'll just start with the basics and it'll be additive. Inhale into the upper back. Exhale, feel the right shoulder, pull it, glide it down away from the jaw and then the shoulder blade. Just getting, there's two different movements that can be articulated. Now we'll keep that right hand splayed, inhale. All right, exhale, the shoulder down, the blade down, and now send the elbow forward. We should start to recruit more of these like armpit chest muscles. Or maybe the way that you sense it is something shifted or broadened in the upper right back. So now inhaling, this left hand will grab the bicep. Just like so, just grabbing the meat of the bicep. Now exhale, drawing the shoulder down, drawing the shoulder blade down. Do this very lightly. This is a manual move. The left hand grabbing the bicep just ushers that elbow forward a little bit. The right elbow, the right arm forward. Inhaling into that right side, right side shoulder. Take the left palm, go to the inside of the elbow. Palm to inner elbow. And now exhale and draw that shoulder down, that blade down. Press elbow into palm, palm into elbow, and send elbow forward. And the tailbone sinks you down, the skull bone raises or floats up. Let's go one more, inhale. So intensified listening, not just intensified efforts. Exhale the shoulder down, blade down, elbow press, palm, palm press, elbow, reach forward, reach forward, reach forward, reach forward. 
and we can release. Inhale those arms out to the side. And just just take a, an, it's an internal tour of the shoulders. It's a feeling tour. Reverse warrior. Exhale, left hand to left thigh. Raise the right arm. So energetically or subtly, I can reach through that right arm as if still feeling that unlocking, still feeling that spaciousness around the right side heart, right side lung. There's, um, from an emotional perspective, like the instructions that emotion and chemistry give us, can co-opt the shoulder a great deal. Those shoulders, those arm lines are deeply involved in many, many of our emotional responses. So what happens if we start to glimpse this open, maybe quaking, maybe hot arm and shoulder and sustain that state of openness, reaching vibrancy and just letting that breath cycle in, cycle through maybe an old, more familiar pattern. We start to wash this fresh energy through maybe an older pattern. How fun. <laughs> Inhale, take that right arm up, over. We're going to go right hand to right thigh. We're going to do an unlocking the hip move. And the left hand to the ground uh, in front of the left hip. Now if um, you need a block under the hand, grab it. Um, most people will place their right hand on the right knee. Bring it higher so it's on the thigh muscle rather than the knee joint. For the feet active, inhaling, bearing, feeling the breath descend into the abdomen, the hip. Exhale, the right hand presses, which arcs the waist away from the thigh, which softly nudges the right thigh away from the pelvis. And so when you glimpse, when you acknowledge, feel, sense, a moment of openness or freedom in the, maybe it's the hip joint, Sustain that for a moment. Just hold really steady and cycle in a breath, another breath. Let that new spacious sense of body and self it's just a, a little bit more expanded than ordinary. Let that start to enter into your, your new engram, your new way of being. And then when we release, we'll walk the hands around the right foot and we're setting up for some lunge stuff. So get a little extra smush under your left knee, push it. And we'll start with lunge. There's a really nice little bit of jazz, <laughs> some complimentary uh, things going on if we want them to. So when I put my palms up, oh, shoulder width, I can have them up with the least amount of effort. That would be wonderful. That would feel like ease. But blood 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 moves through us so let's feel for a moment as if our palms are compressing some dense substance 
and let that turn on the chest muscles. Let that broaden the upper back. And now press down through the top of the left shin and the top of the left foot. Press down through the legs. Yes, there is an uptick of effort. But that's a parallel track. Let the effort, the more and more sensations and pressures and buildups and heat and muscle, let that intensify our connection to breath. Let that develop and intensify our listening. I'm, I'm listening for this. I feel this. I bring the right hand to the right thigh. I would do heel to butt lunge. So left hand, grab left foot. I'm drawing the the heel toward the hip, and I do shift forward a bit. We'll set that left foot down. Inhale the hands under the shoulders. Exhale in chaturanga. And we'll lower belly to earth. Pachamama. Set the hands forward. Reach legs straight away from the pelvis. Inhale into the abdomen, under the heart broadening shoulders. Exhale, lower, reset hands under chest, press back, downward dog. When the ease comes from a doing process, then the formula is simple. We do less. I do less, more ease. We're going at it a little differently. So in your downward dog, engage your triceps. Don't lock the elbows, but engage the muscles, the triceps, and turn, wrap the shoulders. Feel the broadening of the shoulder blades away from one another and engage the quadriceps, so straightening the knee, not locking the knee, straightening, and draw the heels toward the earth, letting that musculature, that effort, letting those sensations, efforts, pressures build up, letting that register. Let it expand listening. Let it deepen listening. We can follow these sensations in, 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 in. Unflinching listening. Let's do the other side. Inhale the left foot forward, warrior two. Bring the left elbow in front of the shoulder. Exhale, draw the left shoulder down, the left shoulder blade down. Two distinct movements. Elbow reaches forward. Inhaling broadly through the ribs, the backside, the sides. Exhale, the shoulder down, the blade down reaching the elbow forward and just giving that little nudge, elbow in. You already start to feel the chest muscles engage. And now my right hand, grab the bicep, inhale. Do this very gently. Exhale the shoulder down. It's very gentle. Just a little, little draw. 
so that I can feel how the shoulder might offer that gesture of release. Maybe it gives me a glimpse of something new in the shoulder. Ah. And slip that hand to the inner left elbow. Inhale. Exhale the shoulder down, blade down, elbow press palm, palm press elbow. Reach elbow forward. Oh, we're still in it. If you're feeling gutsy, you can deepen the stance for these next two breaths here. Inhale into, maybe it's into hip and shoulder. Exhale, the shoulder down, the blade down, elbow press palm, palm press elbow. Let it turn something on. Let it, let it stoke a little. Reaching that elbow forward and feel how the, the shoulder starts to offer up just a little more space. Once more. Deep inhale right into the shoulder directly. Exhaling the shoulder down, the blade down, elbow press, palm, palm press, elbow. Send thigh bones out away from pelvis. And releasing, inhale, reach arms out to the side, keep the stance. If it's starting to bubble, congrats. Exhale, reverse warrior, right hand to right thigh, left arm lifts, reaches. And maybe with just a little bit of that felt memory or that lingering glimpse of openness through the left shoulder. Breathing through that open, broad, arced left side ribs. So just additive, the shoulder might feel a little bit open. The left lung area may feel more expanded. And as we're lifting, maybe, oh, that left hip gets a little bit lighter. So keep lifting. I'll get it this way. Inhale, take that left arm up, over. And now we set the hands down, the knee down, giving the knee some cushion. Oops, oops, nope, nope, nope. Back up, my mistake. Left hand to left thigh. <laughs> there's, there's an unlocking the hip move. Right hand to the ground. So let me say that again. We're in warrior two still. Left hand on left thigh, right hand on the ground. Inhaling, just feeling breath descend. Reach, left hip. Exhaling, left hand, press thigh, the ah, uh, the torso. And the waist arc. Okay. And as my torso is arcing away from my hip crease, from my thigh, Remember, with all of this, I don't necessarily have to make my tissue stretch. That may not feel all that great as our tissues change over time. But we can still glimpse a state of open body, open mind. And we can breathe that new open or expanded engram into our being. Conscious breaths is how we help kind of infuse that. All right. All right. So now when we release the hand from the thigh, now we do we do lunge. All right. So we'll set the right knee down on some cushion. Inhaling the palms up to the shoulder width. Exhale, pressing down through the right shin, right foot. I 
Let that leg, that press, give you plenty of support. These organs, <laughs> they can expand. You feel for the lightness around the organs. So if you're used to feeling muscle, just go a little deeper than the muscle. Organs feel different than muscle, right? Yeah. Imagine the palms are compacting, statically compacting something in the uh, above your head. Let it turn on those arm lines. So you're getting those leg lines, those arm lines. This fullness of, of felt body. Okay, bring the left hand to the left thigh. Feel the butt lunge. Draw that right, right foot, right hand. You got the okay. keep pressing with the left foot. I get the the sense that once we grab that right foot, we kind of just sag. There's a little bit of like all flow and no form. There's kind of a a front saggy thing. I get the sense that we get a, a sense of form from the back side of the body. So if you want to go to the tailbone or the perineum, I feel the, the, the crown or the, or the pineal over that. It doesn't mean I'm stiffening the back, but as I bring feeling awareness to the perineum and to the backside, you may feel there's a little more structure, a little more like, oh, I'm not wobbling so much, right? Sometimes we get the sags and the wobbles when we're a lot of flow, little form. Okay, let's release. Inhale, we'll go hands under shoulders. Exhale, chaturanga. Step the left foot back. Lower. Cobra. Inhale. Exhaling. I just had a little had a little image glimpse. <laughs> Downward dog. Wow, snakes, cobras, right? They're really this both form and flow, they inhabit that. So right? absolutely structured, but just liquid, liquid structure. <laughs> All right. Um, if it's okay to go five or eight more minutes, I want to give us frog before Shavasana. So let's some um, set knees down. If you're on a really hard clock, we'll catch up again. <laughs> We're gonna frog before we shavasana. Ensure that you have adequate um, cushion under foot and knee, both. Oop. And here, I'll turn it a couple of ways so you can see this. Uh, my knees are set widely. My knees are in the same plane as my hips. My shins are parallel with each other. Let me turn it one other way so you can see it. And if you do have a blanket and you put it off of your mat, it slides and that can be a nice easy way to deepen in to slide into frog and once we're in i like to flex the feet flex um so my ankle has a right 
angle. And this is a, so if the perineum is an elusive area in the body, this is a fantastic pose to practice sensing where it is. So it, you know, it, it can awaken. And I think it's a super important area if you're doing meditations that instruct you to find pineal or the third eye or some head places or core places. Remember, this is this is the first, this is kind of like the primary place from which our primitive, many of our primitive cords, cores develop in our body. So it's a structural origin of sorts. Worth finding, worth feeling. <laughs> we don't have to put it all together today. Just find the perineum, find that area between the, the, uh, the pubic bone and the coccyx, the tailbone. Release the jaw if there's any little teeth touching, or even if there's not teeth touching, if the jaw's stiffening up a little bit. To exit, we'll do like a crawl forward. So I'm on my forearms, and as I just crawl my forearms forward, my legs, my belly will end up on the ground. Okay, so it's just a little easier on the groin to head forward. And then once we get our knees, our legs under us, we can press back. Shavasana. So as you lie back, if it feels best to you, to add in one more kind of back release or like a figure four type of a stretch, please go right ahead. That would be a, a really sweet addendum. In fact, I might do that. Perceiving the body as spacious or having or consisting of space allows us into a, sensing our body as aliveness. It takes us into the places where the tension has released. So we're often, if we're accessing space, often the absence of tension. So we'll just linger and sustain sensing our body as having space, being space. And here's the wonderful thing. Only if you experience, if you experience that only in like a singular area, a hip, or around some organ, or in some joint, go there and work with it there. The point here is to explore the state, to glimpse it, and then just 
sustain it an extra moment. Be with it one more breath. Live with that, breathe with that one more breath. Gradually, states become traits. And now, bend knees Turn to a side, press to seated, and I just love you all so much. Namaste.